Let's go over how to set up and configure owners inside the PM module. The first thing you'll need to do is head up to the top bar and select PM. If you haven't already unlocked this module, you'll need to do so now. Once you're inside the PM module, you'll need to go under PM settings and select owners. Here we see we already have some owners set up, but we're going to go ahead and create a new owner. So we'll click on create owner. But I'd also like to point out, if you are importing a lot of owners, you might want to use our import button here. If you select this, this will take you to our import owner data from Excel sheet, where you can click this to download our Excel template, fill it in, and then import the owners from here. But for now, we're just going to create an owner by clicking right here. The first thing you'll need to do is fill in the name or company that owns the properties that you are managing. Once you've done that, you need to add the contact info, so you'll enter their email address and their phone number here. Then you'll go ahead and add the address for them as well. Once you've done that, you'll need to scroll down and enter in the commission settings. Here you can set what percentage the commission should be. Now you need to select whether the owner will be remitting the booking taxes or you will. We'll go ahead and leave this on PM. And then you can select whether the owner is going to be paying for the damage protection or the PM will. I'll go ahead and leave this set to PM. Next, scroll down and under properties, you'll see all the properties that are currently unmanaged. So for this owner, I'll go ahead and add Bear Valley and Bear River. Next, we can configure the channel fees. This controls how expenses and commissions are calculated on payment fees, host fees, channel commissions, etc. Here under expense, you can choose to pre-deduct from owner earnings, or you can choose to show as reimbursed expense on the owner statement, or the PM will pay channel fees. We'll go ahead and select pre-deduct. And then for commission, you could calculate on the owner amount or on the gross. We're gonna leave this on owner amount. Next, we can select how we'd like the statements to be generated. For included bookings, you can choose include bookings that arrive by statement date and prorate amounts if departure is after statement date, you can also choose to include bookings that arrive by statement date and give full amount. You can include bookings that depart by the statement date, or you can include all bookings even if they're in the future. I'll go ahead and leave this alone. Under general expenses, you can choose only expenses that are recorded as of the statement date, or include all expenses with open balance no matter when recorded. Next, you can choose what you want to do about the booking expenses. You can follow general expense criteria. You can only include if the booking is remitted and the expense occurred as of the statement date, or you can include if the booking is remitted no matter when the expense occurred. All of these settings are based on the way you run your business, so there's no exact way to do this correctly. Simply select what works best for your business. Now under preferences, you can choose what the preferred view is. The default is owner amounts, but you can choose owner revenue or full amounts. You can also create custom views if you'd like and select them here for the specific owner that you're creating. You can also check whether or not you want group by property and with guest names. Here under preferred email, if you don't want to use the system default, you can create a custom email for that particular owner, but in this case we're just going to leave it on system default. And lastly, we have a huge notes box so you can write any notes about this owner to remember in the future. Once you've set all these settings the way you'd like, click Save. Now you're given the option to batch update existing bookings that match the settings that you just created. Here you'll see an entire list and you can click into each booking if you'd like, and you can uncheck specific bookings if you'd like as well. Typically you'll want to update everything on this list by clicking Update the Selected Bookings, but if you don't want to, you could say Leave all these bookings unchanged. It's also important to note you can batch update later if you don't want to do this now. We'll go ahead and say update selected bookings. Here you are given a final warning that commission will be applied to these bookings. We'll go ahead and say that's fine, update now. Once that process is finished, you'll be taken back to the owner screen and here you can see all the owners and here's the new owner that we just added. If for any reason in the future you wanted to disable this owner, you can check the box right here and then click disable. You can also enable if you did disable one previously. You can also choose to delete an owner if you'd like. If you'd like to adjust any of these settings, say the commission, you can click in, then click the change button up here, and then you can go and change anything about the contact info, the notes, right here in the settings, this is where you can change the commission, 
and everything else that we set previously. And you can also set the preferences as well. I'll go ahead and leave this alone. Also, when you select any owner, you can see everything about that owner right here. You can also choose to add tags to this owner by clicking the change button right here. And if you had any owner level custom fields created, those would show up right here. If you go to the configuration dashboard, you can see each property, which owner it's associated with, the commission, remit taxes, and who pays the damage protection. You can also see all the properties that are currently unmanaged at the bottom. Right below that is statement views. Just like I mentioned earlier, you can create custom statement views for a particular owner. For example, this is for owner Dave Jones, and these are all the booking columns we want to include and all the expense columns we want to include. Below that is portal access. We have an entire video on portal access, so check that out to learn how to set that up for your new owner. Below that is batch updates. Just like I mentioned earlier, if we hadn't already batch updated all the bookings for those two properties, you would need to come in here and select batch update bookings for commission, or you could also select batch update bookings for PM lock. Since we just created a new owner, let's take a look at an owner statement for this owner. We'll go ahead and create a new one here. We'll select the owner. You can set the statement date. I'll go ahead and leave this alone. You can leave any notes here. And then here are the rest of the settings that you can choose, but we'll leave these alone and click preview only. And now we see all the bookings for this statement. If you'd actually want to create this owner statement, you can click the create button here. And now you can choose to email this statement over to the owner. You can also print and download if you'd like. Once you've sent this statement out to the owner and you've paid them, you can record that payout here. Select the amount, enter in what type it was. We'll go ahead and say paper check. You can just put the check number here and then we can click save. And there we go. We just created an owner, batch updated all the bookings for that owner, generated an owner statement, and recorded a payout for that owner. There are a lot of other sections inside the PM module, which we have other videos for. That is how you set up and configure an owner inside the PM module.